Hello, Junk to Viewers. This is Avintian, welcoming you to a new episode of Out of the Park Baseball 18. Now beginning with the St. Louis Browns. Um, so if you're wondering what happened, in case you haven't seen today's earlier video, um, I got fired from the Detroit Stars, which was maybe fair, maybe not. I haven't decided yet. But more importantly, um, I just think we're at a stage where because the way the Negro Leagues is implemented in Out of the Park Baseball 18, it's not a very interesting game. Um, there's not much you can do to improve your team. You can't trade. You just have to help people release good players on the free agent market. And that's problematic. So we decided to take a job with the St. Louis Browns. I'd originally done an overview of the team in a previous episode, which got lost because we lost power. Um, for that, I apologize. So we're going to start by looking over the team and then making some personnel decisions. So right off the gate, let's see how players did last season. Because we do have some pretty solid offensive talent. Beginning with George Sizzler, who won the batting title. But let's take a close look at Max Bishop. Um, camera Eye Bishop. You know what? This bothered me before. It's Camera Eye. Nobody called him freaking Tilly that I know of. It was Camera Eye. Because look at that discipline. Look at that plate discipline. 136 walks. And he played phenomenal second base. So, Max Bishop, pretty excited about. Um, we have George Sizzler. We have Lou Fonseca, who had another very good season. And then we have some players that are maybe not quite as good, but still pretty decent. We've got a good core. Um, if we look at batter ratings, here's Sizzler, Bishop Fonseca, Marty McManus, who had a good off, who could have had a better offensive season. Um, how did he handle third base? Really, really badly. Wow. Okay, now this is the 1920s in Major League Baseball. And defense wasn't as important then as it is now. But, oh, Babe Ruth leads in slugging percentage. Eh, jerk. Um, position third base. Ah, oh, sorry, I wanted fielding leaders. Okay, there are legitimately great third basemen, so it's not just the fact that our player sucks. Um, okay, let's look at the pitching staff. We have one pitcher who might get really good, and then we have a bunch of mediocrity. This is something we're going to need to fix in the offseason. In fact, it's one of our owner goals. Oh, so he wants bullpen. Up, he wants an upgrade to right field. He wants more attendance, and he wants us to get a winning record. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, these are the players on our reserve roster, and some of them are pretty decent. Like Woody English. Oh, he's a shortstop. Okay, who's my current shortstop? Dave Bancroft, who's way past his time. And eh, we could do better at short. I think, okay, first thing I want to do is address the elephant in the room, which is that we need a new hitting coach, a new pitching coach. I'm going to try to offer the same guys I did before. Pitching coach. There we go. Please come to us. We need a really good pitching coach. Like, really amazingly good. And then we need a new hitting coach. I could pick Randy McClain. Sure. There we go. We need the best coaches money can buy. It'll be an important advantage for us. Um, right. We've got a lot of extra money. So this would actually be a good time to intelligently spend that money. We don't have scouting turned on our league. Ah, the other thing I need to fix. 
So Silver Slugger is a Louisville trademark. And Gold Glove is a Rawlings trademark. And as far as I know, Out of the Park Baseball has no agreements with either one of them. And I'm going to turn off pitchers winning the MVP. We have a Cy Young. We might as well use it. Yeah. Let's hold the All-Star game. I'm not going to vote. I don't think it's that important. And I do want to force all teams we represented. I always kind of like that in Major League Baseball, that every team gets at least one All-Star. I think that's really good. Okay. Let's save the game. So it doesn't crash again, which it very well might. Um, off-season center. We're going to have to determine what we want to do here. When does free agency start? Wait, did it not take my updates? No, it did. Okay. Um, it just didn't update it here. Wait, oh, you know, I think free agency starts right away. Yeah, because there's not like arbitration or anything like that. Like, no, this is not the people they said were in the list. Hmm. When does free agency begin? I don't know. Let's go up to the announcement of the awards, though. We got our pitching coach. Very nice. Uh, we got a gold glove for Max Bishop, which he clearly deserved. We got our hitting coach. No silver sluggers, which is a real shame. Might be Max Bishop, but I don't think he counts. I don't believe he qualifies as a um, person. He qualifies as a person. I'm sorry. My brain is melted right now. Rookie. Yeah. That's what they call it. Not person. Rookie. Okay. We're just going to wait for a couple of seconds here. And right. Yeah, ball player Clements, not even a real player, was number three in the Rookie of the Year award. Damn. Damn. That's embarrassing to the other rookies. Was Jimmy Fox historically a catcher? I didn't think he was. Hmm. Jimmy Fox is really good, though. No doubt about it. Lefty Grove. One of the things I like about playing uh, with the historical rosters, we get to see these players that we know were good in real life and see how they do in our game. Like Charlie Geringer was really amazing. Freddie Fitzsimmons, really good. Um, yeah. And we'll just go up to the MVP. Balloting. Clark Griffith won. That's understandable. No Cy Young for me. Babe Ruth with his 46 home runs. What a loser. God damn it, this is the dead ball era. Well, actually, we're about out of the dead ball era. So, when does free agency start? This is really confusing to me. See, allegedly, there's really good players here. But they're just not as good as I think they are. Offer contract. Nah. That's the problem with the um, dead ball era. We're only going to get players that aren't actually all that good. 
Because no one's going to let a legitimately good player go. Uh, actually. Oh, you played for me. Whoopsie. Why didn't I resign? You're not going to. Oh, that's right. You're the one. No, you'll actually talk to me. Let's try it. We've got loads of money. We have nothing to spend it on right now. Unless, do they have independent minor leagues in this? Pacific Coast League. Hi, Pacific Coast League. Yeah, so you can buy players from the minor leagues. Angels, no. Because they're independent minor leagues, which means... Yeah. He had enough interesting upside that I wanted to buy him. Portland Beavers, nope. Sacramento Senators, nope. Seals, nope. Indians, nope. List all PCL players, that's, that's how we do it. Lonnie Backer, you're a pretty good third baseman, but you're not a very good hitter. Okay. And then let's check out the Texas League. I'm going to buy George Pipgrass, too. Oh! No, never mind. He's an actual real-life minor league team. Oh, I see. Do we have a minor league team? I don't think we do. Yeah, I don't think we have a minor league team. We do not. That's a shame. Still, Lynn Larry's easily the best player on the team now by a pretty sizable margin. Okay. So what are my owner goals? A better right fielder, an, up, an improvement to bullpen, and cheaper stuff. Or... Er, you know what? 75 cents. Let's bring in the seat. Let's bring in people. Um, I would also... I think I'm actually going to trade Marty McManus. Because he's at first base, which is blocked by Sizzler, and will be blocked by him for probably another couple of seasons. What would I get if I offered him to people? I could get a significant upgrade to pitching, which we were really bad at last season. I know they said wanted an upgrade to right field, though. Whitey Witt would probably be an upgrade. He's got good discipline, and he hits kind of well. I could go for a play like Dave Barbie. He's a pretty decent third baseman. Pitcher of this magnitude, though, I don't think we can let this go. We 
Would you throw in Carl Hubble? I'm sure you won't. Yeah. I don't think I have any prospects. I do. I have some mediocre prospects on the reserve roster. Okay. Do you have any outfielders that might be worth grabbing? Maurice Archdeacon. Oh, he's a center fielder. I've already got one of those. Harry Hooper might be an upgrade. Let's try it. Would you give me Harry Hooper? Nope, he doesn't want to leave the Red Sox. Stupid butthead. Eh, Ben Pascal's not that great. Oh, Bob Fothergill. He could play right. Yeah, would you give me him? I don't want to give you one of my better young players, though. I really don't. I'll take the straight upgrade to Hoyt, because I have nowhere to play McManus, and it's not likely to change. Yeah, but people are pleased that I got him, so it's fine. We now have a legitimate staff face, which we didn't have last season. We'll worry about that later on. Okay. Billy Southworth would be an upgrade. What do you want for him? Hulkgaver's got a really good eye. But he won't develop much power. And again, blocked at first base. What position does he play? Catcher. Is he a good catcher? He's a meh catcher. Yeah, let's do it. Let's trade them. You know what? No. Denver Grigsby. I'm going to give you Denver Grigsby, because it's still a nut upgrade for the team. And I'll see if I can get something else off of you. Probably can, but it's worth a shot. Like, Adrian Komorowski. No. George Blayholder? Yes. Is he the knuckleballer? Eh, I will offer this, and we'll see if he takes it. Draft pool announcement. Any change? He said no. <laughs> you want George S. Smith? You can have him. There we go. Where did you put? Southworth. Oh, you're sorted by rating right now. That's why I can't see him. Now, you're playing right field, dude. That's what I got you for. How does this qualify as... Billy Southworth, it does qualify. We'll see what happens. All right, let's advance up to the draft pool announcement. A trade proposal. The Giants will send a Bogle to me for Burt Griffith, who I don't care about, and ball player Hewell, who I don't care about. Um. 
do I have another third baseman? If I don't, I don't mind making that to you. Was it Bancroft originally a third baseman? Bancroft is honestly just kind of trash at this point. I'm just going to release him. I'm sorry, buddy. John Chapman does not play third. And these guys are a while away from improving. Yeah, I will actually accept this trade deal. It'll be a decent one-year fit for third base. I will discuss it, however, and see if I can get you to throw something else in. Okay, bullshit, you can't accept it. Try that on someone who might believe you. No, I'm not going to give you one of my best players. I'm just going to take your original offer. Well, they liked Burt Griffith, but... We now have an upgrade at third base. At least for the short term. He'd be a little better as a left fielder, but it's fine. Well, we brought Bill Bain back. That's pretty good. Your meeting start. Damn. Holy shit, Boston. You gave up a lot for this guy. Maybe you actually didn't give up that much. It's a lot of mediocre players. Oh, no, not Cliff Heathcote. Wait, didn't Cliff Heathcote pitch in, like... No, he actually pitched in... Okay, I know he was actually a, a real player, but I could have sworn he had actually played much later on. Hmm. Who we're going to put in the Hall of Fame this season? Yeah, the problem is anyone we add to the Hall of Fame is going to make it look worse. Because, okay, who's actually in the Hall of Fame right now? Three Finger Brown, Wee Willie Keeler, Naplish Wall. Yeah, it's super tiny, which means that almost anyone we add is going to look worse. Oh, these are people that played before we started. Yeah, because we started in 1920. So these are all people that were put in then. All right. Chief Bender I'll vote for. Because he's clearly worth it. Let's see, home run Baker. I'd cast a ballot for him. <clears throat> Red Ames, no. Four hundred hits isn't bad. 
I will vote for Jack Powell just because he's got almost 5,000 innings, and I think that in and of itself is quite impressive. Same thing for Vic Willis. There's actually kind of a bad ballot. We'll see what happens. Let's go up to the draft. I've heard of Rick Farrell and Mel Ott in this group. Oh, we have one of the best picks. That's pretty cool. Yeah, we actually picked number four overall. Auto draft up to me. Uh, please give me the defaults just so I can look at players. So Tommy Thomas or Emery Osborne would immediately be... Hmm. You're not a bad pitcher. How good is Emery Osborne? He's actually a pretty decent hitter. I like the idea of actually taking him. But Rick Farrell was a real-life Hall of Famer. You know, I need to go with what the team needs right now, and what the team needs right now is third base and pitching. Bump Hadley, nope. I'm going to go ahead and draft Tommy Thomas, and we're going to see how this works out for us. Draft player. Um, Milt Schaffner is not bad. I'll draft him, too. Otis Butler is a decent third base. The problem is we just don't have anything. This was not a very deep draft. This was a bad year to go fourth overall. Um... Hmm. Let's see. John Lehman. Good base dealer, decent power, decent third baseman. Um, you know what? Let's sort by this. Batting potential. I'll take Earl Clark. Who do you recommend we take? You want carry yourself? You can have him. And then I'll go ahead and just complete the draft. Yeah, if you'll notice, very few of these people have very high potential. Actually, I got one of the best ones in Tommy Thomas. We got Mel Ott. Oh, it doesn't count as being signed. Right. Who drafted him? The Indians grabbed him first overall. That makes perfect sense. Negotiate. Meet demand. I'm not going to give you a major league contract, dude. Although there's actually a really good chance I will put you on the majors. I also don't want you to get too big ahead. Negotiate. And negotiate. Okay. Hit 
Hayworth joined. Tommy Thomas joined. Are you in the reserve roster or are you on the major league roster? I'd like to see him develop just a bit before I promote him to the major league roster. There he is. All right, you know what we're going to do? We're going to start trimming some of these players because some of these players are just awful. Okay, if you are 20 out of 20, you are getting cut. Like, seriously. Unless you've got something like this. Okay, you actually have potential. Everyone else here can get cut. There they go. I'll swing an axe later on. I just don't care right now. Um, right. Okay, everyone's going to sign because I offered him exactly what they wanted. Hollow fame voting results. Earl Clark. Uh, Chief Bender joined it. Eddie Chief Bender got in. Eddie Sakat did okay. Yeah, see, Clark Griffith got in because he was an owner. He didn't get in as a pitcher. So we'll see if he gets added on later on. I could just manually induct him if I wanted to. But I don't. If you say you've brought down the house, that seems kind of silly to me, but all right. A trade proposal? No. You are not getting Max Baby, even if you do give me Hack Wilson. I have to consider Bishop untouchable. What if I drop Bishop? You must be joking. What would it take to get Hack Wilson just out of interest? Nobody. Okay, fine. Yeah, I am not trading Max Bishop. He's really, really good. Oh, he increased the end. He increased our budget. That's pretty neat of him. You want Horace Allen, who's pretty decent. He's a good defender, but that's his only talent. He's not a very good hitter. I will refuse your deal. No, you're not getting Lou Fonseca. I will put him as unavailable as well. Ooh, Ed Roush? Wow. I mean, he's, he's aging a bit. He's not as good as he used to be, but that's still pretty crazy. Um, You have my permission to go ahead and build everything right now. Pitching. Ask bench code for staff. There we go. We'll see how that works out. Five weeks for Charlie C. Eh, 
I don't care about Urban Shocker, if I'm honest with you. He's super old. Losing Ray Culp does suck. You're not going to do this to Hoyt. You are not going to take him away from me. You are a son of a bitch game. You are the worst. I just got him. I hate you. What are injuries set to? This is crazy. You know what? It's under players and face gen, isn't it? It's on low. And yet, he's just getting carved up. Son of a bitch. Five days I don't care about. I don't have to worry about things like service time, so... Oh, now you're injured, too. Don't play for the St. Louis friggin' Browns. Okay. We'll play up to opening day. I don't know when he's coming back because, of course, I don't. You're going to give me a decent catcher for a power hitting catcher. Ooh. Schaffner has enough talent that I don't want to I don't want to do this. What if I drop Schaffner? No. Okay, then. Sorry. I lost him for three days because, of course, I did. And we advanced opening day. Someone in the top ten. That's pretty cool. Um, wanted to look at minor league system rankings. Hmm. Don't like Tommy Thomas very much. He's not even in the list. Hmm. His control got better. Alright, we need to get some players onto the main roster now. I love that I don't have to worry about freaking... You have no idea how great this is that I don't have to worry about um, service time anymore. I can call people up when I think they'll be helpful. Um, okay, what do I have backups? Where do I need a backup at? I could use some pitching. Oh shit, you blew out your damn arm. Um, I could use some pitching. Let's call up Johnny Stewart, Tommy Thomas. And Jim Turner. That's fine for now. I don't want to push anything else yet. 
shift him back to catcher. I don't know why you moved him, put him to first base to begin with. He's actually a pretty damn good catcher. Um, all right, let's put together the opening day rosters, and I think we'll actually end this episode here, since we've already had the longer episode for the Negro Leagues, um, and then we'll go from there. So, let's build the roster now, though. Clear the pitching staff. Our ace is going to be... Do I just throw Tommy Thomas in the deep end? Why do we like him so much? Okay, he's got potential and he's got really good stamina. Oh, you're a reliever. Just look at the starters now. I just want to figure out how I'm going to build my starting staff. Honestly, Thomas is clearly the best choice to be the ace. And then Jakey will be the number two guy. Then Rusty. Then Red. No, then Frank, then Red. Frank or Red will be last with that god awful control of his. Um, as far as relievers go. Let's make you all middle relievers to begin the season. Um, except for Turner. I'm gonna make Turner a lefty specialist. Yeah, the rest of you guys will just have to figure your things out. Line up the depth chart. Let's clear this. And then we will rebuild the team as necessary. Okay, batter ratings. We start off with catcher. Shea's got a better batting eye. Severy's actually the better hitter. I'm going to give Severed one more year. Second catcher. Sizzler, obviously the first baseman. Bishop, obviously the second baseman. Uh, Lindstrom can play second or third, so we'll go ahead and have him fill in at both positions. Uh, you're the one I picked traded for, aren't you? Yeah. You can play third to start out with. Lindstrom, Lindstrom back up. Um, Peel will be our starting shortstop. With Chapman backing him up. Then in the outfield we have Fonseca. Horace Allen's got the best power on the team. We need to find somewhere to put him. Can Allen play right? Not really. And Fonseca's second and left. I need your bat in the lineup somewhere. You're kind of a bat outfielder. Yeah, we'll put Tobin in it right. I just don't have a center fielder right now. Lovelace is kind of decent. That'll be fine. And then what I'll do is I'll put in Allen and have him back up both corner outfield positions. He'll be the primary pinch hitter. And I do want Alan playing at least once a week. I will put in Lindstrom as a pinch hitter. If anyone is pretty good at base stealing that doesn't start already, Chapman. Chapman will be the pinch runner. Okay, let's copy the depth chart and paste it over here. Oh, 
All right, now let's think about how we want to set up the lineup. Sizzler is clearly the number three. I don't think there's any disputing that. No, I take that back. Sizzler's clearly the number four. Fonseca will be the number three. Because he actually has power and Fonseca doesn't. Um, Bishop will lead off for us. Uh, Tobin can bat fifth. Then Peel... Oh, sorry. Yeah, Peel will actually be the ninth place here, or the eighth place here right now. There we go. That's a good lineup. Copy that. Paste. And that, my friends, is going to be it for this episode, which I hope you have enjoyed. Um, we've put together a decent roster. I do think we're going to need at least two or three years to really see what the Browns can do, but it will take us some time to get get there. Until next time, this has been Avindian. Please remember to like, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know what you think of the Browns' chances. And until next time, this has been Avindian, and I bid you good day.